सभी को नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम सो वी आर डूइंग यूएचबी थ्री एंड इन यूएचबी थ्री वी आर ऑन द प्रैक्टिस सेशंस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू इन एक्सरसाइज वन वी ऑब्जर्व द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ इन एक्सरसाइज टू वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ सो इन एक्सरसाइज टू स्टेप वन वी सेड आई एम देयर and i can see i am there because i can see the activities desire thought expectation going on within me i also can see that the body is there and i can see the body being there because i can read the sensation from the body even when i say that i can see through the gross eyes i am reading the sensation through the sense organ i E Y E I, and concluding that this is the body. In step two, we were trying to see that these two realities, the self and the body, although they are separate, distinct realities. there is interaction between the self and the body and this interaction between the self and the body is in the form of information only there is nothing physical being transferred from one unit to the other so i am giving some instruction to the body the body is following many sensations are there in the body as part of the process is going on in the body i pay attention to those sensations which i think are important at that time and then accordingly i you know give a meaning to that decide something about it and then instruct the body again so sensation is also an information instruction is also a type of information so this transfer of information is all that happens between the self and the body there is nothing physical being transferred in step 3 we were observing who is deciding who is the decision maker who is the one who is giving specific instructions it is me who is the one who is reading specific sensations it is me so all these decisions regarding exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine i am choosing to use the body as and when i require and i interact with the body from time to time not all the time and we noticed that many a time we are busy with ourselves and we we are not even aware that the body is there at times so this was step 3 then yesterday in step 4 we were trying to see if we can observe that there is some distance between the self and the body there is no hardwired connection that these two are very distinct there is exchange of information but there is they are not joined together so this we tried to see by reading some sensations from the body and seeing asking the question am i this sensation that i am reading am i in this sensation that i am reading or am i at a distance from this sensation and we were able to see that we are not the sensation itself neither are we in the sensation but we can see it or we can read it from a distance because i can read the sensation that is taking part in any part of my body 
sensation that is taking place in any part of my body, the moment I want to. So there is a distance that is there from the sensation. Therefore, I can see it. I can read it. Which is to say that, in other words, there is a distance between the self and the body. They are not joined together. There is no physical connection. There is some distance between the two. So this is what we were to observe also yesterday all day. Observe various sensations in the body. So say sensation of pain, itching, heat or cold sensation, tingling sensation, whatever sensation. Some sensations will be there within the body. Some you are using the sense organs of the body to get some information about the outside. So we asked you to look at whether you are the sensation, you are in the sensation, or you are at a distance from the sensation for many sensations that take place. So if we were able to do this exercise yesterday and we would like to share our experience, we can discuss it now. Uh, whether the birds and animals also have the sensations? Well, certainly they will have, there are just, you know, processes going on within them also. They will also have sensations. They will also have, uh, you know, the sense organs in the body that they use for getting information from the outside. However, the meaning that we give and the meaning that they give may be very different. No? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar to all. Very good morning to all. Namaskar. Madam, yesterday I shared uh, regarding uh, my sensation uh, related to ear. I observed uh, regarding other senses also. Suppose when I uh, opened my eyes, for example, when I am in... Uh, uh, yesterday when you were asking me to do the exercise also and after that also, when I open, I see the objects. Mm -hmm. However, Sometimes I am unable to see all and sometimes uh, I am able to see many things. I am able to see less in quantity means what? Uh, I am different from that. I am not that sensation that I observed. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for many years also, when I am walking through uh, road also, some people uh, complained me. What you are not uh, Observing me, I am coming across you. Even then, uh, you are not observing me. Many times it happened to me, madam. But wantedly, I did not do. Uh, so, uh, out of uh, these uh, ex experiences, I am not that. Even through, I checked with uh, eye sense also. Uh, means what? Through the eye uh, sense are gone and uh, through uh, taste also. So, all these senses, what I am observing, I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation also. And I am also, I am at a distance. Madam, one doubt. Suppose if I sleep, even though I somebody opens my eye. So the image is there in the retina, but uh, I am unable to uh, sense it. Means I am not with it. So it clearly says I am not that. I, I feel like that. So is it? Yeah. So just like you are using the sense organs, Madam. Information about the outside. Hmm. There are also processes going on inside you. Hmm, yes, madam. And there are sensations from that. Yes. So there also, are you able to see that you are not that sensation? Hmm, yes, madam. The sensation. But there, there can be some confusion because it is in the body. Mm -hmm. So I see that. It is a uh, last sentence I did not understand, madam. Could you please repeat? 
I said just like you are looking at sensations relating to the sense organs of the body. Okay. There are many sensations going on within the body for which you are not using the sense organs. Ah, yeah, yeah, madam. For yeah. those sensations also, are you able to see that you are not in the sensation and you are not the sensation? Uh, while walking also, for example, not in the body, outside body also. No, when not I'm... outside body. I am okay, 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 okay. Inside, inside, inside. Uh... Oh, yeah, I will observe, madam. You give many examples. Yeah, yeah. Inside also, we cannot. Uh, because many things are going on. Always, uh, that is, uh, immediately also I can say, madam, because many things are happening inside. I'm not aware of all this. Means I'm not that. Mm. Nice. I think, I think, yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Uh, ma'am, in the observation, in three steps, I experienced that I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. The third one, the distance between the sensation and I. I I am not clear how much, but uh, logically, I think that um, uh, even any uh, part of the body, like a, uh, if I put a needle for a, any uh, part of the skin, I can able to sense. And also the things which are going on, like inside the stomach, uh, something I can able to sense. So the uh, I is the conscious unit. It is not a material so that it is not required the volume or the dimension. So uh, the uh, I may be there inside as well as the outside. It is not uh, much distance because it's always associated with the body. Then only uh, I can I can uh, protect the body or can able to read the sensation in the body. That's how uh, my logical thinking is going on now. Yeah, uh, logic, correct. logic uh. cannot see subtler things because logic. Uh. Uh -huh. When you try to use logic, it is about information mm -hmm. that you gathered from outside already on the basis of that. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, no. It is not direct knowledge. Direct knowledge, yeah. when we say direct observation, this mm. is not logic. This you mm. are accessing your higher activity. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You are yeah. referring to your natural acceptance. From there you are trying to observe. Mm. So logic being more gross, thoughts, mm. analysis being more gross, mm. you cannot explain what you can see by direct observation. Mm. It is just, it will fall short, just as words will fall short. So instead of trying to, you're still trying to see this as a physical mm. distance, because that's what we are tuned to. That's what we have been used to looking at, that physical mm. distance between one unit and another unit. Isn't it? Mm. So just try to yeah. observe that you are you know, able to read the sensation from any part of the body. Obviously, you are not the sensation. Otherwise, how would you read it? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And distance meaning not that there is some physical distance, mm. but these are two separate entities which are not merged. They are not in what how we look at as direct contact mm -hmm. there is some distance that is why sometimes you read the sensation sometimes you don't you are not compelled to read the sensations mm -hmm. okay yeah so thank this you is what we are just trying to see beyond this you know, as our competence grows, we will also be able to see subtler realities. But if we limit ourselves to logic and analysis, then we will not go very far because that cannot explain, cannot 
give us that knowledge of things that are more subtle. No? Mm -hmm. Logic you use, you have some information on the basis of that, you deduce something. No, that is logic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sufficient. To begin with, mm. it is fine. But mm. if we have to keep observing, we have to keep it open. If we are not able to observe also, so that's okay. Mm. We can try. As our competence grows, we'll be able to observe more and more. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Remember we said we are interacting with the body also. We are getting some information from the outside also. This is possible for the self. In fact, if you notice already we are doing that. When we started observing the self, it's not as if we stopped doing all the activities outside. So we were observing the self. We were also trying to be aware of the body and at the same time we were paying some attention to the activities outside. So we look at the details of that. So when we said sensation, so one form of sensation can be the effect of the behavior of another person on me. So, for instance, somebody says some words. That sound reaches my body. The sound of the words. No? Due to that, there is some sensation in the body. Or I look at someone. So, there is a reflection of the image in my eye. That is also a sensation. So like that there are sensations in the body due to effect of another person. Then it can be the situation outside. There is some physiochemical change outside. It has become very hot. Summertime is here. That has some effect on the body. Due to that, there are sensations in the body. The sensation of heat, you know, sweat on the skin, so many things. So that can, situation outside, physiochemical changes outside, can also have some impact on the body in the form of sensations. Then there are also events happening within the body. So your head is paining. Or your heartbeat is very rapid. You notice that it is beating very fast. So there are sensations in the body because of the processes that are going on in the body. So these are the three sources of sensation. One is the behavior of another person what they say, what they speak, or what they look like, that is reaching my body in the form of some sensation which I am going to read or which I read. Some physiochemical change outside which has an effect on the body. It starts raining, the effect of the raindrops on the skin, that's some sensation. And then there are events happening within the body, like my stomach is hurting, my head is hurting. Something is going on in the body due to which there are sensations. Now, all of these are sensations. None of them is affecting or reaching the self directly. You should be very clear about this. There is some direct effect on the body in the form of the sensation. 
So some sound is reaching the ear. Yes, there is a sensation. Sound waves, they come, the vibration, all of that happens. There is some sensation there. Raindrops are falling or it is hot weather. The heat is having some effect on the skin directly. That is a sensation. But it's not affecting or reaching the self directly. It is reaching the body directly. I am the one who is deciding to read these sensations or not to read these sensations. So we talked about that. No? I am going, I have an important task to do. So I am rushing. It's drizzling, but I don't even notice the raindrops on my skin. I don't read that sensation only because I'm so busy with the thoughts of getting to the other place in time and doing what is important for me to do. So I'm the one who's choosing whether to read or not to read. So I read and taste only those sensations that I think are important. And I read and taste them only as and when I think it is necessary. Isn't it? This is when it comes to the reading. Any question regarding this? Because then we'll go ahead to, after reading, how we give meaning to it. But any question here that, it is not reaching the self directly. These sensations are there. They reach the body. Some sensations in the body, of course, they are already there in the body. Other sensations that are coming from outside, they are reaching the body. Certainly, they are reaching the body directly. But when it comes to me, the self, they are not reaching me directly. They are reaching only the body. Yes. Hello. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Namaste, Sabhi. When I say read, I am reading the sensations. Uh, so I am getting the feelings. Is it so that I am when I am reading the sensations? Suppose some someone is coming from the other side, and he is not known to me. I don't care whether he wishes me or not. But if someone known is coming and he or she passes by, by without saying anything, then I feel something. So is this reading related to feelings only? Well, when we read the sensation, and we'll come to this in the next slide, okay. we are giving some meaning to it. And based on that, I may be, my feeling may be getting influenced. So keep that feeling and sensation apart so that you can understand it properly. No? Okay, and so in... Whatever sensation is coming to you, like for instance, you look at somebody known to you and they make a face. You're disturbed? Yes. Yes. Why are you disturbed? Because there is a feeling associated. Huh. Why is the feeling associated? Yeah, because uh, I know that person or uh, there is a feeling of relationship with that person. If there is feeling of relationship, then you are fine with it. No? But you you know that person, you may be expecting some sort of response from that person. You didn't get that response. Now you got disturbed. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So, so what is it that I am reading at that time? That's what you, the sensation that you read 
the person is making a face no yeah that is that reflection has come to your eyes you have attached that meaning to it no so i have read that to the eyes and then i attach a feeling to it feeling is anyway there no some feeling or the other is there in you yes keep that that's why i'm saying keep that feeling separate okay feeling thought expectation this is going on in you sensation is reaching the body that is clear yes yes it is yes. yeah so when that sensation is reaching the body first of all i must pay attention to it if i am busy in my own thoughts i don't look at the face that the other person made nothing will happen no change in my thoughts inside my feeling inside isn't it yes baby so i haven't paid attention to it also supposing i see it then the problem starts happening why does the problem happen because i am giving some meaning to it no based on that meaning i am deciding my feeling does it make sense it will become clearer yes. when we go yes. to the next slide yeah 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 okay then. yes namaste didi namaste the uh, in sources of sensation the third point there are events happening within the body mm -hmm. uh, examples are like pain in the head rapid heart beat so uh, mm -hmm. uh, but it is happening inside the body within the body so mm -hmm. uh, here no sense organs are involved so directly mm -hmm. it is read by brain read by brain or read by self uh, read by self through the brain possible yes. because it is sense because sense organs are not involved here sense organs are not involved so it is happening within the body mm -hmm. it means the part of body is also involved in that that may be brain and self through the brain reading all these uh, sensations inside the within the body possible okay yes some things you may be able to observe without getting the brain involved also but certainly you know some sensations will be there they will reach the brain and then the self is reading from the brain then making some giving some meaning to it then deciding choosing what to do yeah uh i think both are involved because uh, uh, sometimes we are not uh, paying attention to the pains uh, it uh, it varies person to person also so it means involvement of self is there certainly but uh, uh, the informations oh, involvement reaching, of self the information is not even aware now sometimes the pain is there i'm, I'm not, not aware. aware yes 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 really so i am really not even reading that sensation and Is if uh, the, if the gap between the self and this uh, if we can observe the distance between these two as much as we can observe the distance we have uh, this uh, feeling of pain in the lesser amount as compared to the person who is uh, more attached to the body uh, is it Uh, right didi i mean if you if you can see even now lot of times we are not paying attention that means we are not really hardwired to the body otherwise we would be forced to pay attention hmm? time uh, somewhere i have i have read that uh, uh, some uh, this uh, operation some operations are taking place uh, uh, in the body and the no anesthesia is used in that case uh, how yeah, we can understand get into all those issues let's try to directly see within ourselves see we get very curious about 
uh, trying to explain things logically and all. But the process of observation is what is important for us. If we observe, then all these questions can be answered, you know, more easily. So if we just observe this, that many a time we are not reading the sensation at all. So if the self is distracted with something else, it is not reading the sensation. What does that mean? There is a distance. That's why it can do that, no? I have talked of this before. There are many in my practice as a pediatrician in the past. Many times I gave injections to children, vaccinations. And I would always tell them that, you know, you pay attention to what I'm saying, listen to me, and you will not feel any pain at all. And I will be able to give the injection. I never hid it from them. Directly in front of them, I would load the syringe and I would inject. But at the point of time when I was going to inject, before that, I would tell them to focus on their breathing. So I would tell them, breathe with me. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly, I would keep making them breathe in, breathe out. So their focus was on that. While doing that, I would give the injection and they wouldn't feel it. These are five, six year old children who would be running around the room not wanting the injection. But when they actually sat down to do it, then after that they would say that, oh, it's over. I didn't even realize. I didn't even know. So how is it possible? It's possible because there is no hardwired connection. It is about paying attention or not paying attention. Isn't it? Very appropriate example you have given. Didi, can, to make it more clear, can you give some examples, uh, uh, transitions in which brain is not involved and in which brain is involved? Maybe some examples. See, again, brain involved or not involved will mean when I am wanting to read something from the body, many a time I may go through the brain. But the clarity of that will come as we keep trying to observe at different times, no? different sensations. So the heart is beating fast. Hmm? Does it really involve the brain if I notice this? So there will be a question mark there, no? So many things we don't understand right now, we are not able to see clearly. But certainly there is, you know, the self has the capability to directly read many things in the body without going through the brain also. Abhi, we are used to, you know, the lower activities for that, for thought, for logic, for these things, we use the brain to get information about the body. We are using only this path. But directly, you can observe the whole existence. What of only the body? No? So that possibility is there. We may not have reached that potential yet. But that potential is there in every self. Does that help? Yes, easy, but right now I am not able to see uh, without brain. Uh, but I will try to more explore more. Didi. Oh, because see, we may not have that potential. We may not have reached that potential yet. But if you look at you know people who are realized, if you listen to their you know what they've gone through. People are able to directly see what is happening inside the body, the processes that are happening. You directly observe. Now, through the brain, you cannot observe that. Isn't it? Observe as in see what is happening. Fluid is going here, there, all those things. Through the brain, it will be limited. 
because you're trying to access information through the body. The body is gross. So you will get some limited information about the body through the brain. But directly the self has much, much more potential, way beyond that. So that's why this whole effort to try to awaken to the higher activities, to realize our full potential, because we are hardly using the self right now. We are trying to do everything through the body. But the body has many limitations. It is a very gross, it's a very good tool, very good instrument. But still, it is very gross compared to the self. The self has far more capabilities. Yeah? Yes. But, uh, we, we do not have reached to that potential only. That, that may be the uh, right conclusion. Yeah, eventually, we, eventually, we will get there. But certainly, if you, if you just look at, you know, several um, people who have reached that potential, what they're capable of doing, you will see that there is a lot more than what we think is possible through the brain. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. The important thing here is now, when we look at these sensations, how we give meaning to that sensation? How do we decide something about the sensation? So in the example of the behavior of other human beings, so somebody is speaking something, some words, they are gesturing, some body movement, which I see. So there is the physical action, they are speaking something or they are making some movement of the body, you know, some facial changes or hand movements or whatever it may be. That has some effect on my body. There is some sensation in the body. So the image may fall on the retina. If they are speaking some words, the sound will reach my ears. So there is this sensation in the body. Now I taste this sensation. And I give some meaning to the sensation. This meaning that I am giving to the sensation, that depends on my own assumptions, own sanskars, from before what preconditionings I may have. These preconditionings may be based on knowing, or they may be with you know, assuming something, accepting something without knowing. So, for instance, I see the other person and this is somebody known to me and the other person turns the other way. Now, the process starts in me. I have seen this person turn the other way. I start giving meaning to this, what I have seen. I may have this expectation that this is a person known to me. He will say hello, no, he will smile at me, he will say something, he will talk, but he turned the other way. It could have been that he didn't see me, but I may give some meaning to it that he doesn't want to see me. He doesn't feel good about me. Something wrong with him. All kinds of the meanings I may give to it, depending on whatever my preconditioning is. My expectation was that he will wave, he will talk, he will smile, but he didn't do any of those things. So I have given the meaning based on whatever my preconditioning was. No? Similarly, if you look at physiochemical events outside, it's hot, it's cold. And these days it's summer, it's very hot. It has some effect on the body, no? some sensation in the body. I taste the sensation 
then I give meaning to the sensation. This is again with my sanskar. And again, the sanskar can be based on understanding, on knowing, or it could be some acceptance without knowing. So if I, you know, if it is hot weather and um, there is this sensation, now I can read the sensation, but I may not react to it. I may think, okay, it is hot. It is bound to happen. Maybe, you know, do something about uh, using a fan or something to make that sensation. Uh, not so uncomfortable for me. But if I give a different meaning to it, suppose you know, um, with the heat, say, now I start, I may have read something in the paper or I may have this preconditioning that when the body temperature becomes too hot and all people have heat stroke, now that is worrying me. Now this meaning that I gave to it, that because it is hot, this can happen. And I may assume that I am the body also. So with that, all of that, I may panic and I start reacting. I may rush to the doctor, I may you know, put ice on myself, I may do all kinds of things with the worry that something terrible might happen, heat stroke might happen. These are all different meanings that I can give it, you know, based on whatever is my preconditioning, whatever is my level of understanding. Similarly, there can be some event in the body, like we said, pain in the head, some heartbeat, something like that. That is leading to the sensation. So I taste the sensation. I associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar. Again, this can be based on knowing or just on assuming. So here also, same kind of thing. This many of you have shared also that you have some pain in the stomach, but you, this pain may be mild, it may not be very severe, but you get very concerned. Because of some preconditioning, somebody else had a similar pain and see they had cancer. So now I am worried that I might have cancer. So I go to the doctor, I investigate the pain, and then it is nothing, it is just some mild indigestion or something. I come back, now I don't even, you know, it's like uh, the pain is not there almost. I don't pay attention to it at all. Earlier that same mild discomfort, I was reading it and I was giving some meaning to it, based on which I was reacting to it in a particular way. Now the sensation is the same, no? but the meaning I am giving to it is very different. So now I am not uncomfortable with it because of the meaning that I gave. So these three, uh, ways in which the sensation reaches, we can see how we give meaning to the sensation. Can take some questions here. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, today I saw the cricket match, but in the last two over I unable to see the match because I am not in the ground, I am from Chennai. So my mind and everything support to the Chennai only. So in the last minutes, ball, do or die case will come. But my mind and everything focus, I am able to see the match in the last over. I simply comes out 
if when the match is then only i realized the <laughs> tension in the ground the player if i go to the playground and play if i can simply sit in the seat uh, six or four but the happiness in chennai side only i focus but i forget to realize what happened to the gujarat side that is a human tendency this is my first question then second one i, I didn't understand your question at all what is your question my question is uh, sensation uh, unable to overcome in this area what do you mean by unable to overcome because in the last minute uh, i never able to see the tv in front of the tv you able to see or you chose not to see my mind and the thing i have a tension with me ah that's what so you have ah. given some meaning to it no yes 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 for you it is now you are totally um, sort of uh, identified with that side which is playing yes so you think that you know now it should happen this way only you have some expectation Mm, and you yes. have anxiety that that expectation Pre- may not condition. happen no, no. yes so so all this meaning you are only giving na nothing no, is stopping but, you from seeing it but when you say unable to it's not that you are unable to you are choosing not to because you don't want to go through all that anxiety yes that excitement That's, and the last me tension i want to avoid the tension is that discomfort you are feeling because of a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you yes correct okay. so you are trying to avoid that discomfort that yes, yes 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 yeah the second one is i translate to this on morning section before that i translate to english to tamil in the other uh, five days workshop but in the morning section i try to translate but uh, unable to translate i have also send the mail to aect team automatically Automatic. google itself i translate other uh, day five days workshop easily translated and sent to uh, dr somni madam tamil now so what's uh, your problem in translating here here automatically translate it google itself here I, i number of slide is i i i have a doubt here i can focus to translate to tamil uh, through google uh, unable to do that you can take help part. from somebody else no whoever is working on the projects you can take help with them you can consult yes, with them the mail. Yeah, send the mail but is it any restriction is there here restriction regarding what i didn't get you question uh, the, the translation someone is having a control to that uh, ppt morning ppt i want to translate this uh, 120 slides are there yeah once the basic uh, book and all those things are translated then you can go to the higher courses also and translate those mm, certainly but, if, but the basic course translate is done first mm. Huh? Fifty slides, so day by day activities I can translate easily and send to AACT. No, the point is, you know, we need to see the purpose, no? So first purpose and foremost, we have the basic. Understand. Anyway, uh-huh. this discussion, let's not have it now. Let's okay, focus okay, on okay. what we are. Thank you. Thank you. We yeah. will discuss. Yeah, we'll try to observe this now for ourselves. You know. it could be any of these three right now just focus on any of these three probably behavior of another person may not be happening much at this time in the morning but, but physiochemical event outside or event in the body just look at what may be happening and what kind of meaning i am giving to that sensation what is actually happening in the body and what is happening in me what kind of meaning i am giving we'll observe this or we don't have 10 minutes but we'll observe this for 5 6 minutes and then we'll take your question okay nice that was a brief 
observation. So if you'd like to share your observations now, we can take a couple perhaps. Uh, we don't have that much time, but whatever we can take. Uh, namaste, Didi. Namaste, all. Uh, is my uh, question is regarding one typical type of behavior that is smiling. It can happen for both the things like appreciation and also um, criticism. So in that case, how to uh, keep myself in the uh, along with the natural acceptance to or rather to to counteract that inside me, uh, both maybe inside and outside my behavior towards that. So you are saying how I interpret the other person's smile, whether it is genuine or it is cynical or whatever. That's what you are asking? Yeah, it can happen both ways. The other part I am saying, not me. My behavior and the appreciation of the other, other side is like, maybe like that in the two ways. But smiling is there. It can be interpreted two ways. Yeah, so if I can just see that, you know, if he's genuinely smiling, I will smile back and, you know, you can see that it is an expression yeah. of, you know, that feeling of relationship. If yes, that's, it looks that's like that. a cynical smile, then also, what will I decide? This is lack of understanding on his part, no? Hmm. He's not able to see that relationship at that point or whatever meaning he is attaching based on his own sanskars, he is making that gesture, that expression on the face. So it will not dis disturb me. I will see it as lack of understanding on his part. No? Mm -hmm. Just like me, he also needs understanding. So I will see if I can, if I have, you know, depending on who it is and what I can do for that person. I may be able to help him in some way. But the first thing that will happen is I, I will not get disturbed by it. Because in my case, if I have the understanding, then I will ensure my feeling. So my feeling of relationship comes from seeing the relatedness to the other person. So if I can see my relatedness to all, then certainly this person is also included in that, no? So regardless yes. of his behavior, I can ensure my feeling of relationship. So the first thing that will happen there is, I am not disturbed. I am happy. I am comfortable. With that comfort within, then I can start seeing how I can help the other. Mm -hmm. So that is the, that is just to refer to the natural acceptance. Mm -hmm inside me to i should refer to the natural acceptance i should not be disturbed yeah because my feeling should be based on see i can see that i have a natural acceptance for a feeling of relationship not opposition so i will have feeling mm -hmm. of relationship at that time with that i am undisturbed i am happy i am in harmony and that then i can think of helping the other also because I will see that he also lacks understanding. He needs help. Okay? Mm. Mm. okay. All right. 